see noticeable improvement tomorrow afternoon to early evening tomorrow? Well, that's a tough question because this system is going to continue to move this way. But take a look at how much of it is still on the back side. So even if we just project forward here, it looks like we will probably deal with uh, some more cloudiness, some uh, periods of gusty winds, and at times uh, some heavy rain coming across. I wouldn't be surprised if we would have this at least until uh, Monday night. Okay, Phil. So thank you so much. We will look forward to that. We've got the dirty storm, the dirty side, the center, and then the back side, and uh, it just it's it's the storm that keeps on giving. But the fact of the matter is, the Florida Keys really are, are going to get the worst of it. Seems to me, and, and and they're they're feeling it already. We went ahead uh, to Key Largo. Uh, Adriana Hopkins has been there for us, and uh, tell us uh, about the situation there now, Adriana. Well, right now you can see the hood has come off. We're dealing with fairly calm skies right now, still obviously overcast, but we're not dealing with the heavy rain that I showed you just a few minutes ago. We're not dealing with the strong wind. So it's fairly calm. Also, I want to show you this. We've got a fairly good line of visibility out here. You can see fairly far. This is what we're getting when we get these breaks between the outer the outer band, bands of rain that come through. When they're coming through, it's dark. You can't hardly see in front of you, let alone as far as we're seeing now. So we've definitely got a break right now. I'm looking behind my photographer. Still fairly light. I'm not seeing a band come through at the moment. But, of course, when the next one comes through, we'll bring it to you live. For now, we're live in Key Largo. Adriana Hopkins, back to you guys. All right. Looks like uh, Adriana. A signal yeah. there may be a little uh, Isaac affected somehow, some way. It, it, it does happen. That's how that happens, exactly. And, and what is, it? is this picture from, uh, I know we're going to Manhattan, but what is this picture? Is this Miami Beach? Maybe Ho Hollywood Beach. Hollywood. Hollywood. We've got this one dressed up for, uh, okay. Wow. I mean, that's for Hollywood, or Hollywood Beach, excuse me. Uh, for Hollywood, that's pretty. It's pretty rough. Very windy, very rough. It always gets rough in that little uh, inlet there that's where the jetty sticks out right at the end of the harbor there, and, and you always get surfers that want to head out there, and you get fishermen that want to head out there and try to get some last-minute fishing for some reason. But I had seen earlier in the in the day during one of uh, Steve Shapiro's live shots that the cops are out there to try to keep that from happening. You mentioned surfer, and almost as when you ordered off the menu, I just saw one in the background. Like, We've well, been to this rodeo a yes, couple of times, have. and it's always the same thing. Let's uh, check in. I believe Vanessa is there standing by, and I remember standing in the rain. I said, yes, and let me talk. So, Vanessa, it's all yours. Hey, guys. Welcome. <laughs> We've been here since 4 a.m., and this is what we have been having to deal with. Uh, we've had rain, of course, we've had the rough seas, and now all of a sudden some people have come out. I guess it's, uh, the wind and the rain has died down a bit. We're just in one of those bands that's not as powerful, and so people have decided to take the time out, many of them tourists wanting to come out and experience a tropical storm. Of course, uh, a lot of these people, they're not natives here. They're coming out. They say this is the first time that they've ever been in this kind of uh, condition, so they want to come out and they want to take pictures. But of course, people here in Broward County say, you know, this isn't the smartest thing to do. We could get a we could get a band here that's uh, quite uh, much more powerful than this, where we have tropical storm force winds at 30, 35 miles per hour, and this is not the smart thing to do to come out and take pictures. So what you're looking at is we have rough surf out here. It's been like this very much throughout the morning, throughout the afternoon. And, uh, you know, again, in Hollywood, they're offering sandbags to residents there until about uh, 5 p.m. The dry rail is canceled. If you're listening to this and you need to get around, buses are canceled as well. Broward County pulled Monday, canceled. So parents, hunker down with your kids. I'm sure at this point, they, they're probably getting on your nerves being at home all day. But you know what? Put in a movie or keep watching us here. I'm sure there'll be plenty of entertainment. But before I go, I have to say you guys, I'm really glad I came prepared with my with my jewels here today. So, you know, tropical storm forced out over here, Isaac, but hopefully uh, it stays like this and we don't get stronger winds, but I'm sure that's not going to be the case. Reporting live in Dania Beach, Vanessa Medina, back to you. You accessorize, Vanessa. You make me so proud. So proud. Thank you. Thank you. You did a good job. You did it fashionably. You got to love that. Thank you. Got to love it. Got to love it. You got a little bit of a crowd out there, Vanessa, and it looks as though nobody's all that faint by what they see. No, you know what? I think they're. I think they're playing. Look at this. He's, we've got Baywatch here uh, coming out and doing his boogie boarding here. We had a surfer that tried to come out and tried to catch a wave. However, we saw him just take in a lot of white water and uh, swallow a lot of seawater here. But again, you know, people are just out here and having.
has died down, but wait till it picks up. I'm sure these people will be running back to their cars pretty quickly as soon as these, uh, these winds pick up. And this rain starts to hurt because right now it's coming on strong. But as soon as it starts to pelt where it feels like needles, I'm sure all these people won't be hanging out here. Uh, but I'm sure they're all watching 7 News and they came out after they saw all of our coverage. Vanessa, what time did you get there, and were there more people there earlier in the morning than there are now in the afternoon? No, I think as the day goes on, we got here at about 3.30, 4 o'clock this morning, and there was no one out here. Maybe we had a few surfers. However, now, I think people are just starting to get real interested and start to get out. They want to see Isaac firsthand, and so, but I'm telling you, we'll go back live as soon as this rain picks up and this rain starts to hurt. These people are going to be running for the pier. They're going to be running back to their cars. They think that uh, it's a show out there, but you know what? It's going to start to pick up, and it's not going to be as safe as it is right now. But, you know, the pier's closed down, so they don't really have anywhere to go. They're just kind of hanging out, taking pictures of the of the surf. And um, you see this girl down here, she's right smacking. Look at the girl right there, Johnny, with the, taking a the uh, picture of the water. And wait till she gets a big wave. She's going uh, to be in for a flight a surprise um, he's moving out but uh, but no you know people are starting to come out I think it's it's all the news coverage out here you know thanks for watching seven news guys thanks for coming out yeah and, and you make a really good point people don't know that when those those squalls come through and those bands come through that rain does hurt it comes in at an angle it's that driving rain and unless you've been out yeah. there covering a storm you, you don't know that till you're in it and then you're like ow and you run away Oh yeah, if you've ever been paintballing before, it kind of feels like that, especially when it starts to come in and the wind picks up 45 miles per hour and then you have this rain hitting you, it doesn't feel good. I mean, we ran, we ran back into the car as soon as we weren't live anymore, but it does hurt. So, you know, stay at home. If you're watching this, just stay at home, keep your kids at home, don't bring them out. These aren't conditions to be out and enjoying the weather. I mean, you could do that tomorrow or Tuesday even. Vanessa Medina, she accessorizes yeah, and yeah. she paintballs. What a well-rounded, what a well-rounded <laughs> reporter. Thanks, Vanessa, for that update. Stay safe. We'll check back with you in a little bit. Speaking of staying home and watching, you know, maybe you got the storm coverage, you got the information you need, maybe a little sports in your future? Well, there will be a slight change to pass along to you, but we want to make you aware because there is a game Denver at San Francisco today. Here's where you can find it because we're going to be here with you on 7, but if you want to find it uh, and you're a Comcast uh, household, you can find it at 2.20 or 6.03. Uh, Off-air antenna, channel 7.2, and uh, the coverage begins at 4 o'clock, so if you want to see the uh, Broncos 49ers, these are the places where you'll find it, so don't be alarmed if you don't see it here, because we're going to be here with you, so. I took note of that. I'm, I think I'm going to watch that game at 4 o'clock. Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Stay with us. Tropical Storm Isaac, our continuing coverage right after we take the bill.